Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on the Space Coach set, we're joined by Cassin Andor because it was announced, uh, I think on Thursday, that there's going to be a Cassian Andor live TV show starring Diego Luna, which is, um, certainly came out of left field, but a surprise to be sure, but all the more welcome for it. So um, I've heard lots of things like, oh yes, we can see Darth Vader, we can see Jyn Erso, and all that stuff. I would have thought it was unlikely you would see those two characters. Um, you might have like a Darth Vader appearance at the season... Um, finale for say season one or whatever um to build up tension for the next season but you'd be unlikely to see Jin Erso because they only meet in Rogue One unless their paths cross without them realizing it and you know what Star Wars is like for its connections so that could happen I wouldn't have thought that we would see uh, Lord Vader and Jin Erso but hey who knows you are likely perhaps to see characters like say Saw Gerrera and Mon Mothma General Draven all that sort of thing, Bail Organa. It would be great to actually see Alderaan. We've only really seen it very briefly at the end of Revenge of the Sith. And we see little bits here and there in some of the comics, like say in the Princess Leia comic, you know, where she won't eat her Eureka, that sort of thing. But yes, interesting news. And um, it does also mean that people like say Dr. Afra could make an on-screen appearance which would be great. It wouldn't have the murder bots because of the timeline. They come after A New Hope, but they could appear in The Mandalorian. Well, maybe not BT1 because it looks like he is no more. But yes, it would be great to see those sorts of people in there that they've introduced in other media finally getting the chance to turn up on screen. So yes, interesting. It'd be great to see some more of those locations that we did see in Rogue One, like say the Ring of Kafreen, which is a fascinating location, that trading station. And also, I would love to see the inside of that Jedi Temple on Jeddah. Uh, who knows if we ever will, but that would be the TV series that could do that perhaps, because obviously the Mandalorian set after uh, Return of the Jedi when Jeddah's just a husk, as we saw in the Star Wars comic, The Ashes of Jeddah. But yes, Interesting news. I'm certainly very much looking forward to it. Be great, of course, to have K2SO in there. Now, <laughs> I'm going to, excuse me, <coughs> I've been ill the last couple of days. You might be able to tell from my throat. That's also why there's been no videos about K2SO. He, I say, he's either going to be in it or he's not going to be in it. But what I mean by that is we saw how they met in the Cassian and K2SO comic. So unless they're going to basically replay that, and the location was very interesting with the Star Destroyer that was um, being salvaged and stuff. And those two aliens that communicated by uh, changing the uh, air molecules. So either he will be in it from the start or he won't be in it at all. I would prefer he's in it from the start because they were great. Alan Tudyk was great, of course, as K2SO with his um, very uh, particular droid attitude. But we could also see um, more of the criminal underworld in there. It would be a good opportunity as well for, say, Kira and Maul to turn up. Because Maul would still be alive at that um, point in time. It's not until fairly close to the events of Rogue One when um, Maul and Ezra are on Tatooine. And Obi-Wan Kenobi takes him out that he dies. So yes, it does open the possibility for lots and lots of things. Whether or not we see those lots and lots of things is another question, but yes, I'm very much looking forward to seeing uh, the Cassian and or live TV action show, whatever it's called. Production starts next year, probably will come out in 2020. I wonder if it's gonna be a case of Mandalorian first season ends, and then we leapfrog to the Cassian series, its first season ends, then we get season two of The Mandalorian and so on. That might be how it's scheduled, who knows. But yes, very much looking forward to it. The Star Wars TV shows, I suspect that might be what we're getting instead of films for a little while after episode nine because there's no film scheduled for 2020 or probably not even 2021 because I don't know if the Benioff and Weiss um, series of movies would have their first one ready for 2021 because they're not even going to start working on that till after Game of Thrones comes out next year. But we should just have to wait and see. For now, the good news is that Cassian is back. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.